Before I proceed, allow me, Honorable Speaker, to thank His Excellency the President of the Republic, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, and the former Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga, for their bold leadership in the Building Bridges Initiative. This initiative seeks to create a new dawn of peace, unity, stability, and shared prosperity for the people of Kenya. As Governor of Mombasa, Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to declare an equivocal support for the BBI process and its expected outcome, as contained in the memorandum submitted by the coastal counties and read during the Mombasa rally held on the 11th of February 2020, Mr. Speaker, the BBI created a national reform movement in which we are convinced as people shall create an opportunity to realign this nation to the hopes and expectations of the people. We expect to take deliberate action towards providing a better life and secure future for the, citizenship, for the citizens of Kenya. We cannot afford to lose another opportunity of a lifetime to restore hope and confidence in the leadership of this beautiful nation. I therefore urge the people of Mombasa and the greater coastal region to join me in ensuring that this process comes to a successful conclusion. The world at large needs to know that Mombasa has come of age and its people have matured in politics and leadership. Our people are now focused on a country that represents devolution, the rule of law and economic stability. Our people are hungry for vibrant and energetic leadership that is focused and informed on, by the realities of lives and its people. I stand before you today, ladies and gentlemen, and assure you that Mombasa is ripe. Ripe to produce a leader of that caliber. Ripe to chart a cause that is prudent, clear, and practical in addressing matters that are the heart of Kenyan people. My brothers and sisters, let us therefore give a chance to our promise of total transformation of our social economic stimulus for a better future for generations to come. Let us therefore commit ourselves to the goals that we have set. We should not trim our vision from fear of the fact that we will stretch us, that this will stretch us to the limits, but rather cast our sights on the horizon, understanding that realization of these goals will have paved the way for, to the future, bright and hopeful for the people of Mombasa. This is our ultimate goal and responsibility as servants of the people. We hold our people's future not only in our hands, but also in our hearts. Indeed, this is a social economic rebirth of County 001.